It's my feel good breakfast show. Salome Polycos helps regulate menstruation and reduces the male sex hormones. Get the help you need for PCOS with Salome. Your journey matters. Now, when it comes to personal health experiences and the challenges women face, knowing how to manage it all helps and make the journey easier. Fertility specialist Dr. Q Diale joins us this morning to discuss the topic of fertility. Good morning, Dr. Q. Good morning, Zoe. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing well, thank you. And you know what, this is a topic that are very close to quite a few of my friends who are now in that stage of their life where they're planning their families. Now we often engage with the term fertility, but we don't really go into the deeper, finer details. What exactly, doctor, is fertility? Fertility is a person's, or must I say a couple's, ability to conceive and bear children. That's that in simple terms. And unfortunately, the inability thereof or the ability thereof is only recognized by most people re retrospectively after the fact when um, the fertility is tried and tested and then unsuccessful. Now, I find more and more people are struggling to, to, to have successful, you know, attempts at falling pregnant. And this, the discussion is so important. Now, why is discussing fertility such an important issue? And why should it be a prioritized conversation? Because I feel like not enough people are having it. You find that people age without looking into their fertility issues. And by the time that they do so, it's sometimes for some people a bit too late because women run out of eggs. We've got a fixed number of eggs that women are born with. As the age of a woman increases, fertility decreases. And this is talking at ages 35 and above, there's a severe decline in their ability to conceive. It's got psychological effects. Mm. It's got um, effects socially because of the stigma that is associated with infertility. When um, you find that you're a married woman and you're unable to conceive, especially in the African culture, there are names that women get called. It also affects the relationship. There's a lot of divorce that comes out of infertility. And it, it, it stems so much deeper than just not being able to have a baby. Now, Dr. Q, let's dive into the opposite side of the spectrum. When we talk about infertility, is it as simple as saying it's just the opposite of fertility? Well, in simple terms, you can say that, but if you are trying to fall pregnant, meaning if you are having sexual intercourse regularly, meaning at least three times a week or every alternate day without using any form of contraception for a period of 12 months, which is a year, and you are unable to conceive, that's where we say, look, we do not have fertility. After a 12-month period, let's go for a checkup and investigate what the problem is and get help and solution. And Dr. Q, how common is infertility? And do we even know what some of the common causes are for infertility? Okay, so it is actually quite common. Um, infertility can affect about 15 to even 25% of the population. And um, that's how common it is. And um, yes, there are multiple causes of infertility. That's why it's important for people to actually go for a checkup and they can be male factors and they are female factors as well. It is taken for granted and especially in certain cultures that when there is a problem of fertility, it's usually the woman to blame because she's the one that carries the baby. But male issues alone account for about 30% of the causes of infertility. And men uh, or couples or, or people in general actually take it for granted that if a person, if a male can ejaculate, that, that means he's fine, he is not infertile. But that ejaculate needs to contain sperm. There are men that are born without sperm or men that are born with too few sperm to allow for natural conception to take place. And some of these things they develop as they age or due to their lifestyle 
or um, many other factors and, and occupational as well. Then there's female factors which can range in simple terms from the brain, hormones, um, we're talking prolactin, we're talking thyroid problems, then um, anything that also affects the female's ovaries, which could be um, conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, or actually running out of eggs at a very young age. And this is called primary ovarian insufficiency, and it's a condition that I also would like women to be quite aware of, because this means that it's more like a woman goes into menopause before the age of 40. And then there's also womb factors and tubal factors, tubes being blocked, and so on and so forth. So the causes, you know, are a variety. Dr. Q, I'm listening to this. This is a topic that needs to have all these conversations because it's complex, it is common, but there are so many different elements and factors to it. Now, doctor, what does it mean when they say infertility can be experienced in two ways, primary and secondary, and what are some of the differences between the two? We say it's primary when a woman has never conceived um, before, not even a miscarriage or a termination of a pregnancy. And then you get situations where a woman has fallen pregnant before and she has one or two children and then she's trying for her second or third born and she's now experiencing infertility. So that is called secondary infertility. Well, Dr. Q, it's been amazing getting all of this knowledge and questions that I've had answered. Thank you so much for your time. You are most welcome. And thank you for having me. Well, there you go, talking all things fertility as well as infertility. And now that you have all the knowledge shared with you, you've got the ability to reshare it and give somebody the answers that they've been searching for. And with Salome, your journey matters. Cysts in the ovaries, irregular or missing periods, and high male sex hormones are symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome. If you experience two of these three, you may have it. It's also the leading cause of infertility in women. Salome Fertility helps regulate ovarian function and helps improve fertility. Salome Polycast helps regulate menstruation and reduces the male sex hormones. Get the help you need for PCOS with Salome. Your journey matters.